What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Now for those who know me, I run everything on my Linux machine inside of Docker container. That is my browser, my email, my editor, everything um, related to my development environment inside of containers. The only thing that I have installed on my host is a terminal and Docker. Now on Windows, I do a slightly similar thing where I keep all my development environments inside of containers. So .NET C Sharp, Python, Golang, and Node.js. I don't have any of that installed on my machine. I use Docker as my development environment to keep my dev environment the same as production. Now, when I do this, the most common question I get asked is how do you debug code inside of your container? And how do you make sure every time you change code on your local machine, it automatically reflects inside of the container? So in this video, I'm gonna show you some simple steps in a few minutes of how to debug Node.js code inside of Docker containers. All the source codes on GitHub up so you can follow along. Without further ado, let's go. So this is the Docker development YouTube series. All the source code um, in here is on GitHub. So check the links down below and make sure you like and subscribe and follow along. Okay, so in this GitHub repo, I have a folder called Node.js and everything that you that we're doing in this video is in here. So we're going to be interested in this Node.js folder. Um, now, I like to keep my source code separate to my deployment scripts and separate to my Docker file. That is because I like to keep this repo very simple so new developers can uh, find it really easy to navigate the source code. So I have this SRC file for my source code. Everything source related is in here. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with Node.js. We have a package.json and I have no dependencies other than just the web server. I, I use Express and then in server.js, I basically just start up a web server. So it's a hello world application. I say port 5000. I, I say startup express and here we tell it to listen on that host and port and if a user arrives at um, this path which is the home page of the website um, they'll just get a hello world message so very simple hello world application so now I also have this docker file here now before I get into the details of that the docker file is basically used to take all our dependencies, Node.js included, and pack it inside of a container image because I don't like to have Node.js installed on my machine. I don't like to have uh, multiple versions of Node.js lying around. So I like to keep it um, my development environment inside containers and matching my production environment. So if we take a look at the Docker file, we start with Node 12.4. So I can have 12.4 for this microservice and I can have node 13 for some other application it doesn't really matter it keeps it simple now i just want to show you how to get this up and running really quick so to get it up and running to get it built i have this docker compose file now i've just collapsed all these other services because they're for other videos but for this video we have node.js and what i'm doing here is i'm just giving the image a name i'm giving the container a name and I'm telling the uh, Docker where to find my source code and Docker file. So the context is set to the Node.js folder, which is this folder over here. Um, I also tell uh, Docker that I want to use target debug. Now, this is where it gets interesting because in Docker, you can define multiple stages or targets. And I don't want my uh, debugger to end up inside of my production image. So what I do is I'm going to define a target. Um, called debug and then I have a different target called prod that allows me to use the same docker file where both of them are identical the only difference is one of them uh, one has a different target where the debugger lives and we'll take a look at that in a second so I also define a volume and this is where I basically tell docker to mount the local um, source code which is the source folder into the container inside of a working directory so that allows me to do all of the debugging and and, and like work on my local machine um, but mounting it into the container so i'm basically doing remote development and i don't have to have node.js installed locally i also have a port now because our application is exposing port 5000 inside of the container i don't want ports to conflict because i have multiple other things running on my machine so i'm just going to map it to port 5002 now to build this i just say docker compose build node.js so very simple for you to get this up and running and once that's built we can run it by saying docker compose up node.js and that'll go ahead and start it in debug mode so it's starting the debug 
target of this container image. So once that is up and running, you can see we have the browser open localhost 5002, and that means 5002 is mapped to 5000 inside of the container. So we can see our service is up and running and working. So how do I add a debugger to the image? Well, it's very simple. If we take a look at this Docker file, um, I mentioned that I have multiple stages. So you can see we have two stages, one defined over here from node 12.4 as debug. And then we have from node 12.4 as prod. That means we're building two separate layers, um, two separate targets in this image. So this is one target and this is the other target. And what we do is we, we create a working directory called work. Um, we copy in our package.json then we do npm install and we're taking advantage of docker's cache so we don't want to um, build this image multiple times um, when the source code changes we only want to build it when the package.json changes so i copy the package.json in first do npm install and this is the magic i add i do another npm install here for nodemon nodemon is basically just a node.js tool um, it has a lot of features it allows us to one add a debugger and the other feature is that's auto reloading of code so it's automatically when we change code on our machine it's automatically going to restart our node.js express application so what we have here is then we copy in the rest of the source code and then we start up um, our application using nodemon so we say nodemon inspect so this is um, basically telling it to enable the debugger and then which file to run. So we say server.js. So this is all we need for the debugger to work. So if we then take a look at the, the remaining part of the Docker file, which is the production stage, um, it's, no, it's, no, it's not really different. The only difference is we don't install Nodemon. We just do, we create a working directory, we copy package.json, we do npm install, um, we copy the remaining of, a bit of the source code, and then we say, um, we start this command say node dot so just start up our node application um, that means when we build this as target debug we're going to get a docker container with a debugger if we build it with a target prod we're going to get a docker container without a debugger so now that we have a debugger inside of our container how do we get debugging to work so firstly we're going to need an extension so you're going to want to head over to extensions and then search for Docker and you're going to want to get the Docker extension by Microsoft. Um, once you've installed this, this will give you access to the Docker icon over here, which gives you a bunch of features like uh, managing containers, images, registries, networks, and volumes. We're not going to cover this in this video, but the main feature I wanted to show you was if you press control shift P and you type debug um, open launch.json, um, the debugger is going to need this file called launch.json. And when you click that, you'll see uh, Docker Node.js. You're going to want to go ahead and click Docker Node.js. And just click any folder. That's fine. And what it does is it creates under your uh, repository, it creates a .vs code folder and a launch.json file in here. Now it generates this one on the fly. Now, if you look at the GitHub repo, you'll see I have multiple entries. Um, so, so you can see here, there's like one entry over here. If you look at the one on GitHub that I'll check in, um, it has multiple entries. I, I have a copy of that one, which I'll open up on the side here. And you can see that there's a bunch of things. Now, the firstly, there's a name, uh, Docker attached to node. That's the, the name you'll see when you want to add a debugger. Um, type is node for node.js. Um, we do the attach request, meaning we're going to attach the debugger to the remote um, container. Um, now we want to change a couple of things up. So we have remote root. That is where is the code inside of the container. Now, because in our Docker file, if we take a look, we've made our working directory slash work. So our source code is going to be inside slash work slash source. So in the remote root, you're going to want to go ahead and change this guy so we know the code is over there right then the next bit we're going to do is give it a port number so the port to listen on if you look at the docker compose file you'll see that i've exposed that port already that's the debug port so with that there the other thing is we're gonna give it an address localhost so that is where to find it from our host it's going to be easy just call localhost and where is the code on our machine we have to tell um, the debugger the code 
locally exists in the workspace folder under node.js source so that's this folder over here then the other bit i need to to tell it is what protocol to use inspector that's because we're using nodemon inspect and the other cool feature is restart equals true so if any code changes um, the nodemon will restart our application automatically so these are the bits and pieces you're going to need in the launch.json file so with the application up and running here you're going to want to go ahead and click on server.js add a couple of breakpoints so i'm going to add one right here um, where i return the hello world message then you're going to want to click on the debugger and click the docker attached to node that's the one that's in our json launch.json file hit the play button that's going to go ahead and attach the debugger to the container so you can also check the debug console make sure everything is running everything is healthy all looks good and then when i go to localhost 5002 and hit enter you can see that my breakpoint has been hit so if, if i hover over like um, this for example i can start debugging i can start having a look at the objects um, it also gives me this panel on the left hand side um, where you can like inspect stuff so this is the debugger in a nutshell so now you can see we can debug code remotely inside of a container um, if i go ahead and press play i can step over i can hit continue and one cool thing i want to show you is i can put a um, message in here running version 2. now watch what happens if i remove the breakpoint and i save that file the node mon is automatically going to restart the web server if i refresh this application i can go ahead and look at the logs and i can see running version 2. if i go ahead and change my code to version 3 hit save running version 3. so this is really cool so i don't have to go to like out of inside the container go out of the container do docker build again to build a new image i can work as if i have node.js installed on my computer uh, meanwhile it's all installed in a container i don't have to worry about managing different versions and dependencies um, and it's kind of like like for like with my production system. So if you're a Node.js developer and you're learning about Docker and Kubernetes, be sure to check out my link down below to my Zero to Kubernetes guide with Node.js.